All right, time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Good to see you. We missed you at one, but I know yesterday you were working hard on something. You know me, yes. but we'll, we'll keep that under wraps <laughs> for the moment. All right, inflation cooling, but high prices, they're sticking around. Exactly. And, you know, all the economic signs point to a cooling of the economy, a cooling or an easing of inflation, this after months of rate increases. But like a lot of consumers, you're probably wondering, how come I'm still seeing high prices at the supermarket, I'm paying high rents, and the cost of many necessities are not going down? Okay, there are reasons for that, several of them, as a matter of fact. First of all, rate hikes do bring down inflation. We know that historically, but they are not like penicillin. It's not like you introduce them and then suddenly you've cured your monetary malaise. No, it can take months for rate hikes to bring inflation down. So that's one element to this. It's a waiting game in part. Also, many retail prices are contractually set months in advance. So even though distribution costs might be going down, wholesale prices might be going down, the retail prices at the shelves, they stay up for a while until those contract terms are met. And then finally, there's some just good old fashioned price gouging going on. Some businesses might be reluctant to pass along their savings to consumers, instead preferring to dazzle their shareholders with high returns. You stir all that together, and what it really means for consumers is 2023 is going to be another tough year, at least when it comes to prices. But this too shall pass, and probably by the end of this year, we will finally see things easing off at the retail level. All right, uh, Google laid off 1,800 employees here in California. You say that 27 of them had a interesting gig they did let me get back to that in a sec because we know because google announced last friday that they were laying off 18,000 or 12,000 workers that is a whole bunch now we know from regulatory filings that as glenn just said more than 1800 of those job cuts were right here in, in google's home state of california looking even more deeply it's not just northern california where they're based that's feeling it also down here in southern california about 177 positions are being lost in los angeles mostly at Google's Playa Vista campus. About 60 jobs were lost in Irvine. And then going a little deeper, the regulatory filings show that among those who have been shown the door are 27 in-house massage therapists, 24 of whom were based up in the Bay Area, three were down here in Southern California. Okay, I know it's easy to make snide remarks at this point, but this is indicative of a broader trend. And that is, there was a time when Silicon Valley was basically like a luxury cruise, free food, free dry cleaning free massages. Those things seem to be very much a thing of the past. And the big tech companies, which are all in a state of consolidation and or layoffs right now, are, uh, are basically converting into, hello, normal employers that don't have all those perks. And basically you got workers who are just bringing down a paycheck to get by. So uh, this is something that's not a huge surprise, but it suggests that uh, things are gonna be different in the tech industry going forward, maybe not quite as comfortable. And then what about Lyft? They're cracking down on late customers. They are. And they're following Uber in this regard. Seven years ago, Uber rolled out wait fees if you were late to the vehicle by the time it came up for the pickup. Now Lyft has quietly changed its terms of service to also introduce late fees as well for its cars. The way it's going to work is the fees will kick in within two minutes after a driver has arrived at the appropriate pickup location, or five minutes in the case of the more upscale Lux Black vehicles. Lyft uh, isn't specifying how much the wait fees are going to run. It says this will vary by location, so one guesses that in hot spots like LA, you might be paying more as opposed to other places. Uh, now, this is, as I say, follows Uber introducing this earlier. Um, it's not, uh, not a huge shock. I mean, wait fees make sense because the deal is is you order a car, it comes, and if you keep them waiting, that's your problem. If you find these new wait fees stressful, well, I suggest maybe you think about getting a massage. Oh. <laughs> oh, look how I bring it around. <laughs> well, there's three unemployed in town, so they may give you a good rate. Well, I'll be in the KTLA hot tub after this anyway, exactly, so we can talk about it later. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, the SAG after negotiations, we had to work really hard to get We've that. We've got to push for that, yeah. right? All right, David, see you at 1 o'clock. Yeah.